Hey, play boy, what you doing? Let me holler at you for a minute. It's your boy H Diddy. I can just just gotta talk to you about something. Don't be weird about it. <laughs> just wanna talk to you. Come on. Um, I'm, I'm good. I'm just mind my own business. I'm good. See you, man. Take it easy. So yeah. So hold on. Uh huh. Hold on. Talk to you I later. Just, I gotta go. On. Don't cut me off now. Let me just highlight hey. you for a minute. Hey, like stop that. Bags. No, no, no. Yeah. What are you doing? Take that. Hey, yeah, hey. Yeah. Take that. Take hey. that. Take that. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to go over the actual VTX build and phases. Um, the first phase I'm going to show you right here is how I bought it when it came factory to me. I have leather bags, rear fender, front fender and the exhaust those were the key things that i wanted to change and i obviously i did the intake but that's not nothing to mention at this point but if you look at as you look at it you can see that the handlebars were low um the bags were leather and the exhaust were the long shots by vance and hines the front fender and rear fender i wanted to change up because i wanted to do a more uh bagger look i like the performance i like the power out of the honda but um, it didn't come at the, the body style that I like, like a Harley. I, I paid $2,300 for this VTX. For $2,300 at, what, 13,000 miles on it? That's not a bad build versus if I had to buy a Harley that same way with the, the life the motor had, I wouldn't have paid that, that little of money. So I had a lot more room to play. Phase one for the Rogue King. Um, the first thing I did was get a backyard air suspension, four inch extended uh, bags and rear fender kit. Um, I also did the air right as well. Um, this was my first airbrush job and paint job. Uh, got my seat reupholstered and you see I have the handlebar 16 inch KST Customs. This was a very good build for me. I love this one. And then this one you see also is the Street Glide version, BTX with no air ride, uh, four inch extended bagger system or bagger kit, just the same. Um, turned out well. I love the way these kits work. They bolt up so easily to the rear fender and you can't go wrong with the back air suspension kit itself. I uh, did this probably five or six years ago. And as far as the hold up and how it handled everything, it's you see it, it's done great. So this was reason for phase one. Now let me explain why I had to do phase two. I did phase two because I wanted to hear my music in front of me. So it gave me a reason to go ahead and get that front frame because backyard air suspension makes an adapter that bolts up to the neck. And from the neck out is everything, road glide fairing, speakers, headlight, everything. So I redid the paint job since I had Defender and I incorporated my logo, which was the uh, winged lion with the CLD cycles on it. And with the feather system that I had on top of the red paint job that you're gonna see here in slow motion is that the feathers didn't really have a lot of flow. Um, I did a good design. Everybody liked the paint job. It's a beautiful paint job and when I, put the idea of getting a feathered design in, I really didn't incorporate a good wing design with flow. So it caused me to have a little bit of a, uh, how do you say, uh, a pet peeve about it that I couldn't just nail about it. I, it just irked me. I don't know what it was, it just irked me. It didn't work out, but uh, the paint job turned out great. It just, the flow didn't make me happy. But I also upgraded these bags. If you see it right here, I've upgraded the bags to the 15 and up bags because I like the hinges on it. Now the Real King version had the 13 down bags and I didn't like the hinges on the 13 down bags. It just drove me crazy. 15 up bags are so much easier to open. You just turn it, open, close it, turn it. I mean, it's simple. With the hinge, you have to tilt it and push it and pull it, blah, 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 blah. But there's still one more reason. This piece right here missing that is called a side extension. The side extension or side cover had to be changed. So I did a phase three. Only reason I did a phase three is the side cover and the next paint job. The reason why I did this paint job because it has complete flow. I love the flames. I airbrushed the skulls in it. And um, I molded the actual extended side covers to the bags itself. Turned out 100% great. I'm very happy with it. And then after I uh, finished all the paint job with everything on the side skirts, I got this gentleman right here. 
he actually did the pinstriping and he did a phenomenal job. So that is my final rendition of my VTX 1800 and I'm proud of the, the work I did and it gets a lot of good attention. Now for the rest of the bike community, think about it like this. A lot of people always want to make comments about being a poser or being a fake Harley, blah, 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 blah. Think about back in the day, what was the, the most um, popular builds was the choppers. And there was no other chopper builds more famous than the CB Honda and the Harley bikes. Um, they're in Easy Rider magazines, they're in Chopper magazines. Plenty of Hondas have always been in the game. And people forget about Jesse James being one of the best bike builders that ever lived. He made a CB, no, I'm sorry, he made a VTX 1800 Cafe racer himself. And that's the only other bike I've ever seen him touch besides Harley. So for me to actually turn a Honda into a Harley, it takes a skill set. It's not something that you can just do, just the same as a chopper for any bike. You're completely dismantling and changing the entire uh, physical look of it. To make a Harley a Harley, it's just bolt on. To make a Honda a Harley, it takes skill set. It takes a level of skill that makes it, you know, makes it more difficult and you learn a lot of things in the meantime doing this kind of build. So um, I don't really take it personal when people always call it a, a, a poser or a, what do they say, a Hardly Davidson. That's, it doesn't bother me at all. I mean, stock for stock, we can race and then you got beat by a Honda. I mean, that's just ego talking. But for the Honda community, it's a beautiful bike. I'm very happy with it. And I think it works out great because I can hear my music when I ride, my music's in the front of me. Um, I have storage in the back that are hardbacks and a stylish. I have air ride. I have that 21 inch front wheel. It's a good looking bike. And everybody that's ever seen it says it's a good looking bike, but some people are tied to that whole uh, stipulation of if it ain't Harley, I don't ride it. Well, I, I really don't mind riding anything as long as this. I don't mind riding any baggers. Baggers is my thing. I have a victory bagger, I have a Row King Harley bagger. And I have the Honda that you see here, the VTX bagger. So for all you guys out there thinking about the VTX, go for it. Please leave comments, ask any questions, and please subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching the whole video. Bye.